Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. The I want your used car letter has become the hottest direct mail in the whole United States. It's hot because it works and people are thrown a little bit off balance by someone actually wanting their car. Some of the mailers just say, we don't even want to sell you a car, we just want to buy your car, but it's all to get you in the door. However, if you take that letter to an attorney and go down to the fine print, you'll find uh, all sorts of waivers, disclosures, exclusions, and conditions. The first thing I see is it said the base MSRP, the base manufactured suggested retail price. Well, for starters, the base suggested retail uh, MSRP is strictly for the car with zero accessories or options. So right away, the typical car has got thousands of dollars worth of options over the base and including things like, uh, you know, it could be automatic transmission or air conditioning or anything. So thousands of dollars, would they would immediately take that off. And then there would be a very high penalty for mileage and condition. When you end up, you're going to be right at actual wholesale value because they're going to have enough conditions. And they have a mailing list, and they know exactly what kind of car you have, and that's the reason they say these are the cars we want to buy because you have to be driving it. They sent the same letter to everybody <laughs> <laughs> that's driving a Buick uh, of any model and uh, get them in the door. A lot of times dealers do this because they feel like they have to, to because everybody else is. At my dealership, we do very few direct mail sales. Matter of fact, we tried one recently and it was a total failure because we told the truth. So <laughs> it puts you it puts you into a position where if you want to compete, some dealers feel like they have to be dishonest to compete. I honestly think if Schumacher didn't have to compete with the Napletons and the Arigos and some of the other dealers around here that have absolutely no ethics, then he probably would raise the level of his advertising. But uh, sometimes they just feel like they have to do this. It's a shame. That's the reason we need some regulation. 